two key institutions, namely the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Anti-Graft Body Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, are as of now at crossroads. At crossroads because they stand accused of sabotaging the war on graft, the very vice they ought to be at the forefront in confronting. In fact, come tomorrow, a section of legislators led by Starehe Member of Parliament, Maina Kamanda, have threatened to name graft cartels working in cahoots with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions to compromise the ongoing war on graft. The very ACC that gave the president, particularly we have to say here, the chief executive of EACC, the head of secretariat, who gave the president that contentious list, now goes ahead to say, after 60 days, they have not completed majority of the investigations. According to them, while there is a clique that determines who is to be prosecuted and not, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission investigators have not fully given the leeway to carry out thorough investigations against graft suspects in a deliberate attempt aimed at setting them free. But for a vice president, a deputy president, to come and say that I'm the one owning your land which used to belong to you and is not telling you how it left public into a private, what kind of impunity do we have? If we are seriously and genuinely we want to address corruption, then we must start addressing corruption by first dealing with the high priest of corruption in this country. But to a section of court lawmakers, this is a well-crafted ploy by their jubilee counterparts to ensure graft war hits a dead end. The main matter here is to make sure these institutions, which are independent constitutionally, are subject, are made to be subject to manipulation by state actors. Roraka lawmaker Tom Kajwang and his Sunna East counterpart Junette Mohammed are as a result alleging that a petition to oust Tobiko is in the offing in a bid to protect corrupt individuals in government. Politicians are now going around trying to, um, trying to vilify people who are charged with the constitutional mandate to fight corruption. I can tell you before long there will be a petition to remove for them, the Jubilee administration has embarked on a massive campaign aimed at weakening institutions mandated to fight corruption by targeting those in office. They disabled the commission and up to now Uhuru has not had the, the, the strength to be able to bring commissioners to lead that commission. And to demonstrate the government is serious in fighting graft, Kajuang wants all grabbed public property repossessed. But for a vice president, a deputy president, to come and say that I'm the one owning your land which used to belong to you, and is not telling you how it left public into a private, what kind of impunity do we have? If we are seriously and genuinely we want to address corruption, then we must start addressing corruption by first dealing with the high priest of corruption in this country. Marin Kanari, Channel 1 News.